Did you know that almost one third of all Amazon shoppers don't use the Amazon search bar to find the products they need? Instead, they stumble upon the listings from outside of Amazon. Keeping this in mind, designing a smart external marketing strategy can turn around your Amazon business by attracting new customers. And one of the most effective ways to do so is by running Google Ads. I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at SellerApp, and today I'm going to show you how to run Google Ads for Amazon products step by step. Well, our highlight feature of the day is SellerApp's Amazon PPC optimization tool. It will assist you to find the tailored solutions to maximize your Amazon ad performance. You can organize your ads at the campaign level, ad group level, and keyword level to meet your end goals. Additionally, you can use our tables and graphs to track the performance against your target ACoS. For our top three channel subscribers, we have a free six month seller app subscription plan worth of $450. Exciting, isn't it? Find the link to the seller app's Amazon PPC optimization tool in the comment section below. Also stay tuned to this video to know more about this powerful feature. Well, here's a quick overview of the topics we are covering in today's video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Well, let's get started. Google Ads is an online advertising platform developed by Google. It allows businesses to create and display ads to potential customers who are searching for products or services on Google search engine or browsing websites that display Google Ads. You can use this platform to run a range of different types of ads including the Google search ads, Google display ads, Google shopping ads and Google discovery ads and even the YouTube video ads. If you are an Amazon seller planning to use Google ads for promoting your products, then search ads are the way to go. They are text-based ads that closely resemble Amazon PPC in terms of setup, which makes things easier for you. Not to mention, you get a lot of flexibility with targeting and ad copy, which can be useful in the future. One of the best things about Google search ads is that they appear above organic Google search results just like Amazon ads show up on Amazon. So if you have already run an Amazon PPC campaign, you'll find it easy to set up and run a Google Ads campaign too. You might be wondering, why use Google search ads for your Amazon products? Well, let me tell you, as an Amazon seller, these ads can be a game changer. They can bring in targeted traffic to your Amazon listings from outside the site. And here's the best part. Google ads offer several advantages compared to other traffic sources. One of them is the sheer volume of traffic they can bring in. Now, Amazon is already pretty popular, but did you know that Google handles a whooping 8.5 billion searches per day? That's a lot. Potential customers, right? So of course, not, a, not all of those searches are looking to buy something like they are on Amazon, but a significant portion of them are. So if you use Google ads in addition to Amazon ads, you can significantly increase the number of people clicking through to your Amazon listings. It's simple math. More clicks is equal to more potential sales. Second, increased buying intent. Now, when it comes to buying intent, Google may not be on the same level as Amazon, but with Google ads, you can create highly targeted campaigns that capture existing intent. Similar to Amazon PPC, you can choose specific keywords that are highly relevant to your product, which increases the likelihood of the conversion. This is different from external traffic strategies like Facebook ads, which require you to grab someone's attention and redirect them. With Google ads, someone who clicks on your ad had already performed a relevant search. 
which means they are more likely to buy. For example, if you are selling water bottles and include water bottles related terms in your Google ad, you can be sure that someone clicking on your ad has searched for that product and is much more likely to make a purchase. Third is additional market share. Now, if you are not showing up in Google ads for the important keywords related to your Amazon products, then someone else is. That someone else could be your competitor or even the Amazon itself. And if Amazon is advertising on your behalf, they will direct to the traffic uh, to a generic search results page that features all of your competitors. And that's why it's important to compete for that ad space and store some of that traffic directly to your Amazon listing so that you can capture more market share. Fourth is leveraged platform credibility. In the world of online shopping, two platforms stand out from the crowd, Google and Amazon. And by running Google ads for your Amazon products, you can leverage the credibility of both platforms to boost your brand's reputation. What's more, Google search ads are designed to look like uh, Amazon's own ads, so customers may not even realize that they are clicking on an ad from the third party seller. This gives your products a big credibility boost, making shoppers more likely to trust your brand and make a purchase. Fifth is simple setup. If you are looking to advertise your Amazon products on Google but feeling overwhelmed by the idea of creating elaborate ad creatives and targeting audiences, do not worry because Google search ads are here to save the day with their simple setup process. All you need is a product to advertise relevant keywords and some persuasive copy to entice potential buyers. And the best part? By focusing on search ads, instead of other forms of Google ads that require images, you can avoid the hassle of creating visuals altogether. And that's not all. In addition to the specific benefits of Google ads, you'll also be rewarded by Amazon for driving external traffic to your listings. Amazon loves it when sellers bring in new customers from outside the platform and they offer a brand referral bonus of 10% on most categories. So not only will you attract more buyers to your Amazon products through Google Ads, but you will also earn that extra revenue in the process. By encouraging sellers to drive external traffic to their Amazon listings, Amazon has found a great way to attract new customers and create additional revenue streams. This is mainly done through the Brand Referral Bonus Program, which rewards sellers with a percentage of the revenue resulting from the external traffic. So in most categories, sellers are rewarded with a 10% bonus, which means that if you generate $100 in sales from external traffic, Amazon will give you a $10 bonus that will be deducted from your Amazon fees. This is a great way to grow your business and get more exposure of your products. Starting a Google Ads campaign is easier than you might think. There are plenty of advantages to running Google Ads and the potential for success is enormous. But how do you get started? Let's begin by setting up your Google Ads account. Already have an account? Great! You can jump ahead to campaign creation. To create a new ads account, simply head to ads.google.com. Keep an eye out for promotions that Google often runs for new accounts, which can credit you with a sum of money when you spend the same amount on ads. Once you start the account creation process, you will need to sign into an existing Google account or create a new one. I would recommend creating a separate account for your business rather than using a personal Gmail account. Finally, you'll need to answer a few set of questions about your business and advertising goals. It's that easy. Onboarding smart campaign setup. When you are setting up your Google Ads account, you might come across a semi-automated smart campaign setup that Google offers. While it might seem like a convenient option, it won't be suitable for running external traffic to Amazon. Instead, just fill in the necessary fields with basic information and once your account is active, you can delete this campaign. With that done, you should be all set with your Google Ads account and ready to launch your first real campaign. 
Now let's talk about the fun stuff, creating Google ad campaigns and driving some serious traffic to your website. I'm excited to walk you through all the essential settings you need to configure uh, and also share some expert tips on how to optimize your ads for the best possible results. Let's get started and take your online game to the next level. Step one, create a new campaign. There are a few different spots where you can do this, but the simplest method is to head over to your account overview page and click on create, then campaign. Here's a pro tip for you. I suggest using a separate Google Ads campaign for each product and marketplace, along with just one ad group and ad per campaign. This will help uh, keep everything organized and make it a breeze to track your performance down the line. It's kind of like Amazon PPC ads, streamlined and effective. Step two, set your objective. This is an important decision, so listen up. When it comes to selecting your campaign objective, I highly recommend choosing sales. Sure, some folks opt for traffic, but let's be real here. What you are really after is those sweet, sweet sales conversions. So go ahead and choose the sales objective for maximum impact. Step three, set your campaign type. When it comes to Google ads for your Amazon products, I highly recommend uh, choosing search as your campaign type. Sure, display shopping video and discovery ads can all be effective in, your, in their own ways, but search ads are the way to go. If you want things to be straightforward, targeted and easy to handle, so keep it simple and stick with search for your Amazon product campaigns. Step four, name your campaign. This one's a piece of cake. Just choose a name that will make it easy to identify your campaign at a glance. If you're planning on running multiple campaigns, which is a great idea, suggest using a consistent naming convention like product marketplace. That way, you'll never get mixed up and can easily find the campaign you're looking for. Easy peasy. Step five, set up your bidding strategy. Google gives you a few different bidding focuses to choose from, which determine what your ads will be optimized for. You have got options like conversions, conversion value, the clicks, and even the impression share. Now, since Google can track Amazon conversions, I recommend going with clicks and setting a maximum cost per click bid limit. You can set the limit at a lower number like $0.5 to calculate a more specific number. Based on my testing, I found that Google Ads generally convert at a rate of 1-3%. to So if you want to run ads that break even or better, take your profit margin and multiply it by 3% and then use that figure as your cost per click limit. Say for example, um, you are promoting a product that sells for $30 and has a profit margin of $8. In this case, $8 into 3% is equal to $0.24, which is the maximum bid and expect to break even. Of course, keep in mind that there are a plenty of uh, variables in place, so you may need to adjust your bidding strategy later on if you are paying too much or not getting enough traction. Oh, and one more thing, if you are enrolled in the brand referral bonus program, you can factor that bonus amount into your calculations and be more aggressive with your bidding. Step six, choose your target networks. All right, let's talk about step number six. When you are setting up your ads on Google, they'll automatically select two networks where your ad will show up, the search network and the display network. But here's the thing, we want to turn both of these options off. Why? Well, we only want your ads to show up in Google searches. That way you will get the most out of the benefits that we talked about earlier. Now, if you decide later on that you want more exposure and you've got a bigger budget to work with, you can always test out these other options as well. But for now, let's keep it simple and stick to Google searches. Step seven, choose your target locations. This one's pretty straightforward. When choosing your target locations, make sure you are selecting the location of the Amazon listing you want to drive traffic to. Step eight, choose audience settings. 
Uh, this one's usually pretty easy since the default settings will work just fine for most of the cases. However, it's always a good idea to double check everything to make sure it's all correct. If you are advertising to a location where English is in the primary language, be sure to check the language settings. You want to make sure uh, your ads are reaching the right people and in a language they understand. Step 9. Add your keywords. Now this is where things start to get really interesting. We are talking about adding keywords to your Google Ads and this is where you can really make a big impact on your ad performance. Let's say we are advertising a really cool water bottle. Now if you are setting up Google Ads for Amazon products, you should already have an active listing and have done some keyword research. You can refer back to the keywords list to get started. The key here is to streamline your list and only include the most relevant keywords. You don't want to waste your budget on keywords that aren't going to convert well. And before you enter your keywords into your ad, I highly recommend putting brackets around each one. This will force Google to use exact match only, which will make your ads much more targeted and effective. If you have a lot of keywords and want to add the brackets in bulk, you can use an Excel file or Google Sheet and apply a simple formula. Just paste your keywords into a column A and use this formula in cell B. Then copy the formula down column B and uh, it will automatically add the brackets to each keyword. Once you have got it sorted, you can copy the keywords in column B and paste them into the keyword section of your Google ad. Here's a pro tip for you. Duplicate each of your keywords and add Amazon to the end. This will capture traffic from customers who are specifically searching for your products on Amazon. You can use a similar formula to add Amazon and the brackets to your keywords and bulk. Just make sure you include the space before Amazon to make sure there is a space in the final keyword. With these steps, you'll be well on your way to creating effective Google Ads for your Amazon products. Next is step 10. Set your URL and display path. First up, you need to set the final URL where customers will land when they click on your ad. The simplest option is to send them directly to Amazon, but you can also use a landing page to collect email addresses if you prefer. If you want to measure the performance of your Google Ads uh, for your Amazon products accurately, I recommend uh, creating a unique Amazon attribution link for each ad. This will allow you to track the links uh, and conversions from your Google Ads and Amazon system. This will give you valuable insights into how your ads are performing. Now let's talk about setting a custom display path. This is a really cool feature for Google Ads that lets you customize the path that customers see in your ad. It doesn't affect where they land, but it can make your ad look more professional and trustworthy. My go-to option for the display path is best-selling followed by the product name, but you can customize this however you like. Just make sure it's relevant to your product and looks good in the ad. With these steps, you'll be well on your way to creating effective Google Ads for your Amazon products. Step 11, customize your headline. This is a really important step because the headline has the biggest impact on whether someone will click through to your ad. So it's crucial that you optimize it as much as possible. Luckily, if you have already written a well-optimized Amazon listing, this step will be a breeze. You can simply go through your listing copy and pull out the key benefits of your product. Then refine them down to short 30 character phrases. Try to include as many benefits as you can because Google will continually test them to find the best performing combination. Now remember, you, your headline needs to be attention grabbing and relevant to your product. So take some time to think about what will really appeal to your target audience. With a little bit of effort, you can create a headline that will help your ad stand out from the competition and drive more clicks to your Amazon listing. Here are some additional tips that have worked well for these sellers. 
uh, include your product's pricing including the pricing in your ad can have a positive impact on both ends of the pricing scale if you are offering a discounted promotional price it can help attract clicks and encourage purchases on the other hand if your product is more premium priced including the price can help qualify the potential buyers who are willing to spend more since you are paying for these ads on a cost per click basis it's important to make sure you are only paying for clicks that have a chance of uh, resulting in a sale second lean on amazon's brand when creating your amazon ad it's important to remember that many people will assume it's amazon who plays the ad you can use this to your advantage by including elements of amazon's brand in your ad copy consider highlighting features like free shipping make sure to reference prime the number of reviews your product has or any money back guarantees these are all trust factors that can help improve click through rate and conversion rates third make use of dynamic keywords you can add keyword to one of your headlines and let google dynamically add the specific keyword that a customer has searched for if applicable to be on the safer side enter your primary keyword into the default text box in case the searched keyword is too long or not covered by the keywords you have entered i prefer using title case to keep things consistent close the brace brackets and add an any extra text like the product price such as $20 keyword water bottle and pin this headline to show up first including the exact keyword searched by the customer can significantly improve the click through rates as it matches the search intent step 12 customize your description you can create a longer piece of text by combining multiple headlines and playing around with the order this will give you unique variations for google to test without putting in uh, too much extra work step 13 add some extensions to make the most of your ads potential it's a great idea to add extensions this way you can display more content in search results and really stand out from the competition Luckily Google offers a range of extension options to choose from. Here are some of the best ones we have found. Site links. If your product comes in different variations such as size or color, this is a must have. You can include links to each variation giving potential customers more options to click through to your listing. Next is call outs. Another great option you can use is the space to including a uh, compelling sales copy like free shipping and highly rated which can reinforce the benefits of your products next is promotions if you are running a special offer or a coupon on amazon be sure to include the details here this can give you extra visibility and entice more customers to click through to your listing step 14 is set your google ads budget it's always a good idea to double check your campaign budget before hitting the publish button google usually sets the budget pretty high so it's important to make sure it's something you are comfortable with even though the maximum bid level you have set will help control spending it's still a good idea to reduce the budget to a level you feel is appropriate that way you'll have peace of mind knowing that your campaign won't exceed your budget next is step 15 review and publish your campaign All right. It's time to review and publish your campaign. Take a moment to check everything over and over and make sure all the details are correct. Once you are satisfied that everything is in order, it's time to hit the publish button and launch your first Google Ad campaign. Congratulations, you did it. You have successfully created and launched your very own ad campaign on Google. Optimizing existing Google Ad campaigns. Now if you have been running Google Ads for your Amazon products for a while it's time to optimize your campaigns to get the best results. The good news is that optimizing your Google Ads campaigns is similar to optimizing Amazon PPC campaigns. There are two main areas you should focus on bid levels and keywords. 
adjusting your bit level is simple process of increasing or decreasing it. If your Google ads are costing you too much and you're not seeing the desired results, you should lower your maximum bit. If you want to increase your impressions, you should increase your bit. It's also important to uh, regularly check and adjust your keywords. Take a look at your campaigns on a weekly basis and remove any keywords that aren't performing well. This will help you to focus on the keywords that are driving traffic and even the conversions. Additionally, you should add new relevant keywords to expand your reach and bring in even more potential customers. This was all about our guide on Google Ads campaign for Amazon products. By now, you should have a good understanding of how to set up and optimize your campaigns to drive the external traffic to your Amazon listings. With the right approach, Google Ads can help you expand your customer base, boost your organic ranking on Amazon, and build your brand online. If you're looking for more advanced strategies and even the ongoing support, feel free to reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com. We are always happy to help and share our insights on how to succeed in the e-commerce world. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Sellera. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave them in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!